Today I'll be showing you some Linux absolute basics for terminal use. A terminal is a Unix based application or program and allows you to interact with the operating system via commands. And the reason we use these are to gain many tools and utilities that aren't typically available through graphical user interfaces or it's just easier to use. So we can do things like navigate the operating system, make changes to it, automate. And before operating systems existed, this is what computer operators use to interact with the systems. There are many different types of terminal emulators available and all Linux distributions come installed with one by default, although they can be different types of terminals. For the most part, they're pretty similar, but things such as layouts, colors, commands, tabs, functionality, these all change with the varying terminals that are available. I'm here using Ubuntu today. Let's open up a terminal and get started. There's really two ways of doing this, at least in Ubuntu. You can do Control Alt T, which will launch a brand new terminal for you here in Ubuntu. But the other way is just to use search and type in terminal and search for one. Again, just so you're aware, let me actually show you how to launch that with a shortcut. That's Control Alt T as in Tom. Once the terminal loads up, you'll notice that there's some information here. This is what's known as the username or the current user using the computer. This here is known as the host name. And that was set up whenever you installed Linux. And that's what other computers on the network know your computer as. Right now, the terminal has a blinking cursor and it's just waiting around for us to start typing stuff in using commands. One thing I will mention is some commands require super privileges. Today, we won't be paying too much attention to that because we're gonna safely navigate the system and won't require administrative privileges. Anyways, the first command we're gonna issue is PWD, which just stands for Print Working Directory. This will tell us where we're currently at. If you just press enter, notice that terminal or console spit something out at us. And all this means here is that we're currently in the home savvy Nick directory. All these slashes mean is that they're subdividing multiple directories. So we can look at this as the root directory, then the home directory, and then the savvy Nick directory. So we're about three layers deep right now. And this is actually where most terminals will load you into, which is the current user's home directory. So if we want to change directories, we can type in CD. I'm going to do CD and then space. And if I press tab twice, I'll get every single directory that's currently located in the one that I'm in, which is the savvy Nick directory, and it'll allow me to see what's available really quick. So if I want to navigate, let's say to the desktop, which is what's back here, I just do CD and then type in desktop and press enter. You'll notice that this line over here changed. This represents the current user's home directory, and then it says desktop. So we would expect to be in home savvy Nick desktop right now. And if I type in PWD, we can confirm that. Sure enough, if you ever want to go back a directory, that's pretty simple as well. Just type in CD space dot dot. That'll take you back one directory. So let's change directories again back to desktop. Another way or simple shortcut to get back to the current user's home directory is CD space tilde. That gets you back to the home user's directory or another clever way so you don't have to do as much typing. Just type in CD. That does it as well. I'm going to navigate to desktop one more time and then kind of explain this visually. So if I type in PWD, it says I'm in the home savvy Nick desktop. If we start a file browser, we'll get a visual representation of what's going on here. So I should be in the home desktop and it says the folder is empty. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it savvy Nick and hit create. Now I have savvy Nick on the desktop. So now I would expect to see the savvy Nick directory located under desktop here. So I'm just going to do clear. That will actually clear the contents of the current terminal instance, which just helps keep things organized. Use this anytime you want to get rid of text. And then I'm going to use another command called LS, which just stands for list. If I type in LS, that's going to show me everything that's currently located under whatever directory I'm currently located in. So since I'm in desktop, I would expect savvy Nick to get displayed. And sure enough, it is. Again, if you ever get lost, just type in PWD, an easy way to figure out where you're currently at. Another important directory is what's called the root directory. If you're used to Windows, it's much like the C drive or C directory. It contains all the system files, including users and every application. So to get to the root directory, we'll have to do CD then space and just type in a slash. If we press enter now, instead of a tilde, we have this slash. So I'm going to list the contents of this directory by doing LS pressing enter. And now there's a bunch of files and folders in here. And you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of directories located in here, as well as a file. 
And if you're enjoying this so far, make sure to smash that like button for me. Think about subscribing below, trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. One familiar directory that you'll notice is home. So let's navigate back to the desktop directory because these are all system folders and files. We don't wanna make edits to anything in here. I just want you to be aware of where things start, which is the root directory. So we can actually navigate to the desktop from the root directory by doing CD space slash home slash savvy Nick slash, and then I'm gonna type in capital D and just press tab a couple times. That'll list the contents that's available. If I start typing and there's a unique match, it'll actually autofill it for me if I press tab. So just be aware of that. That's a neat tip to understand when navigating, it makes things a little quicker, especially if you have long file names or directories. And if I decide I don't wanna actually go to the Savvy Nick directory and I haven't pressed enter, I can go back. So now I'm back to desktop. And if I wanna keep going back, now I'm back to Savvy Nick. If I press tab a few times, notice that there's a whole bunch of other directories available. Anything denoted with a slash at the end is a directory. So we can do a comparison again. If we go to home, notice we see similar directories in here, such as downloads, documents, desktop, music, and more. One thing we don't see is the ones with dots in, on the front. This just means they're hidden files or directories. And by default, you cannot see them in the file browser. These are typically configuration files located in these directories, and they really don't want people making changes to them. So that's why they're typically hidden. And we wanted to get to desktop, so we're gonna type in desktop finally and press enter. We type in PWD. Look, we're back in the home Savvy Nick desktop directory. I'm gonna clear things out one more time and type in ls. And then actually go back directory. So if you remember that cd space dot dot, that'll get me back directory. Why don't I see the hidden files right now? We just established that there are hidden files. Well, there's different types of listing. So right now, by default, it's not listing every file. If you wanna do that, we have to do ls space dash a, which means list all. Now, if we do that, you'll notice a bunch more options available. This is another way of listing things out. If I clear out, I can do la as well. That's actually a shortcut here in Ubuntu that they've already aliased for you. Just makes things a little faster. And anyways, these are the absolute basics for navigating a file system in Linux using the terminal. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.